Hi there guys, Adam from The Facial Fuzz here, back with another Fuzz blog. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why it's important that you set yourself realistic beard goals on your minoxidil beard journeys to stop yourselves from getting demotivated. So let's look at ways that you can keep that motivation up while still attaining your goals. Now, one of the really enjoyable things about seeing somebody start their journey, whether they're commenting or posting on the Minox Beard Spot or commenting on my YouTube videos, is a real sense of enthusiasm and excitement for the journey ahead. But that's my first point. It is a journey. So let's look at that. So how long does the Minoxidil beard journey take? Well, it's very difficult to answer that question because to assign an arbitrary number is pretty much pointless. We do often say between six to 12 months, but in my personal opinion, six months isn't even worth mentioning. The amount of people that are actually completed by that point is very few. Now, if you're one of those people, great. But for most of us, it's gonna take between a year and two years for the most part, um, to actually get those hairs to go terminal. And by that, I mean the vellus to shed out and be replaced with the terminal hair. So it really is a journey and you're gonna need perseverance, grit, determination to actually get through it because you're having to apply minoxidil twice a day or once a day if you choose to uh, and that is quite hard to get into a routine on. But if it's something that you really want, then you'll make it happen. But don't start this if you think, I'm only gonna do six months even if it's not terminal because likelihood is it's not going to be and you're gonna essentially waste your time and your money. If you really, really want a beard and you're gonna be using minoxidil Keep in mind that it could take up to two years, most likely around about the year mark, but we are seeing more and more people take slightly longer than that year. So that's the first expectation that I want to give to you, and that's just from my own personal experience and from seeing other people on the spot as well. Now that sense of expectation when we first join the Minoxidil beard journey leads us to find a goal beard. And we find a beard on the internet and we say, that's my beard goal. Now, a lot of the time it's quite funny because you see bearded men who joined the Minox beard spot, uh, who are just looking to fill in some patches, have much more conservative beard goals than their counterparts who are essentially starting with nothing like I did. And I'm no different. When I first started my journey, I had some seriously unrealistic beard goals. This is my beard goal when I first started uh, Minoxidil. This is what I wanted to get to. Quite frankly, that's probably not going to happen for me. And that's something I've come to accept. However, I do also have in my head where I want my beard to get to and where I would be quite happy with it. And that's the point, guys. So a lot of you will have goals like this, okay? And whilst that's great to have, reality, most of us aren't ever gonna achieve that. Some people will, but a lot of us won't. And it's really down to how many uh, follicles you actually have on your face and how they're distributed. Um, and that's down to your genetics, unfortunately. So there's not really much that you can do about that unless you get a facial hair transplant after you finish your minox or beard journey to fill in some of those weaker areas. Now, I'm not saying that you can't set yourself goals like that, but I consider that kind of like a dream beard goal. Now, I would recommend that you guys set yourself a beard goal that you would also just be satisfied with. So something that you'd be quite happy to have at the end of your Minoxidil beard journey. And if you land somewhere between those two goals, then you've done really, really well. And if you hit your dream goal, amazing. And if you hit your normal goal, that's also really incredible. But don't set yourself too high a target that if you miss it, you're gonna feel like a failure. Set yourself two, and that way, if you hit your main goal, you're gonna be very satisfied, and if you hit your dream goal, you're gonna be over the moon. That way you can keep yourself motivated and keep yourself going. And remember, you might not see progress instantly. It does take time. Some people start seeing real progress after three months, some even sooner. Most people are probably between that three to six months mark that they start seeing a lot of improvement in their facial hair, so keep that in mind. Okay guys, I hope that's given you a few things to think about. If you did like this video, then please do hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, queries, please pop them in the comments box below. And if you want to keep up to date with my journey and also more hints and tips like these, then hit that subscribe button. I've been Adam at The Facial Fuzz and I will see you again next time. I still walk street in my Reebok Anytime I say war, your ears a wheeler Tell a man cool down, tell a man ease up Tell a man watch a man and don't speak up Creep up, hella great goose in a teacup I'm a boss, keep back on my feet